And now to the first Republican to step forward and challenge President Trump in the primaries. Yeah, you may remember the name. Former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld ran as a vice president on the Libertarian ticket in 2016. He has officially launched a campaign for president as a member of the GOP. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan has the latest on that campaign 2020 move. Dave. Yeah, it's not as if President Trump is expected to have trouble, you know, getting, getting the nomination. But nonetheless, he does have an opponent. Just when it appeared that President Trump had intimidated any Republicans thinking of running against him in the 2020 GOP primary, along came that former GOP governor from Massachusetts, a libertarian Republican. And today, his long shot campaign, very long shot, got underway in the Northeast. Former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld hit the campaign trail in New Hampshire Tuesday, one day after launching a primary challenge to President Donald Trump. Bill Weld for president. Weld was a 2016 vice presidential candidate on the Libertarian ticket with Gary Johnson. Last month, he reiterated his Republican credentials in an interview with CBS News. I have always been a Republican who tends toward the liberty side of the party. Meanwhile, Democratic presidential candidates fanned out across the country. And despite a primary challenge, President Trump continues to focus on the Democratic field. Especially Bernie Sanders, the Vermont senator and Democratic socialist, got cheers from a Fox News audience Monday during a televised town hall. Do you think it makes sense to spend twice as much per capita as the people of any other nation? and be the only country on, in the world not to guarantee health care for all people. Yeah. The president tweeted Tuesday, so weird to watch crazy Bernie on Fox News. He has also been tying Sanders and other Democrats to socialism and framing the upcoming election as the fight against it. They can talk all they want about socialism. All socialism is, is a method into the poorhouse. In his appearance at the Fox News town hall meeting, Sanders fired back at President Trump, who has adamantly resisted revealing his taxes. Hey, President Trump, my wife and I just released 10 years. Please do the same. So far, Sanders has the highest fundraising totals of the Democratic field at a little over $18 million during the first quarter of 2019. Our average contribution used to be 27 it's gone down to 20 dollars the other big money democrats behind sanders are california senator kamala harris who raised 12 million dollars former texas congressman beto o'rourke at more than 9 million and south bend indiana mayor pete Buttigieg at 7 million president trump however has raised more than 30 million dollars in that same period it's the strongest fundraising quarter of his presidency now, in a related development tonight, sources tell CBS News that former Vice President Joe Biden is expected to officially enter the race for the Democratic presidential nomination as early as next week. Biden, of course, has dropped several strong hints along the way that he will be getting into the race, but nothing official so far. Jeff, we'll see whether this is the real thing. This we'll time. wait and see for sure, Dave. Yeah. Thank you so much.